Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about using the launch editor when editing videos in your My Media repository. So we have our page open here and I'm going to go to a video that I previously recorded with Lecture Capture and I'm going to click on the little pen here all the way to the right. Once I get into this page it's going to take me to here where I can see the launch editor and now I can go and start editing this video. So the video will play here at the top in real time and I can watch and listen to it and decide what I want to cut and what I want to keep. And you can see if you come down to the timeline here, you can drag your timeline across to the part of the video where you want and it will automatically go to that part of the video up here in the player. So there's a few things you can do here. You can use the split tool to create a clip that you might want to cut out of your video. So for example, let's say I want to start to split this clip right here around the 12 second mark and I click on the little scissor and then I can then drag my timeline over to here. Maybe I want to create the clip and snip it here and that will then take this small snippet and I can delete it and that will get rid of that specific part of the video. Now you're going to see a space here but don't worry if that space stays there Kaltura will automatically skip over that and you won't see any delay or anything like that. It'll automatically know to just keep going with the video. Now you can also click on your little timeline here and you can expand your media or bring it in this way if you want to edit your video that way. You can also do it with the end here by bringing in here to sort of edit that clip and make it shorter. You can always bring back that media as well by just dragging that that way and you can drag your media and make sure that those changes are set the way you want them to. Now one thing you might want to do is you can also use the set in option so if you want to go here and in on your timeline and click set in you'll see that it'll take your marker and start at the beginning it'll start there and similarly if you drag your marker here to the end you can click set out and that will get rid of the end for you there and you can sort of control how your video looks you can also delete what you've done here if you want to or you can also put a fade in fade out option on your video so if you click fade in fade out you can choose when you want it to fade in so I'll just do two seconds and if I want to fade out I can also do it at two seconds and that will then allow me to have a little bit of a transition on my video here so the last thing that you want to know about doing this is you don't want to click on just save if you click on just save that means the original video that you've recorded won't exist anymore and it'll just be this edited version you're going to want to click save a copy and that's going to then save a copy of this so the original will still be intact but the new copy where you made the edits will have will also be there as well so we can make this copy of august 14th or you can name it pretty much whatever you want you can name it edited version if you want so I can write edited version and then click on create and that will go ahead and create that video for us in my media so if we go back from the launch editor and click on my media you'll be able to see that this copy has now been created so we have copy of August 14th edited version and we have the original of August 14th without the edits